welcome back to my channel today i am going to be copying this dress okay i turned it inside out um because it's better to copy a dress if you can get the um the seam allowance on the outside on the, on the sides of it okay so you don't have to worry about adding that extra the extra inch and a half or whatever for your seam allowance um but you can still add the um half an inch to an inch for your hem okay so i'm gonna show y'all a couple things i have Whew. first of all welcome back to my channel if this is your first time visiting thanks for joining us if it's not your first time visiting welcome back again y'all i'm so excited i've been doing a lot of sewing lately and i've been procrastinating y'all yes i have okay look at this y'all look at all this fabric okay i plan on doing a lot of things with this fabric it's all stretchy fabric okay and you can use your, your uh, surgery for this i will be using my surgery uh, today and i will be making a dress copying a dress that i already made um, I made a dress last year for me and my daughter. I made a couple dresses for me and my daughter. Let me show you the first one I made. I made this dress for myself. I made my daughter one too. It's basically a halter dress, no sleeves. Okay, so today I'm going to make one with the sleeves, with the um spaghetti strap, well, with the straps. Okay, like a tank top dress, okay? It's still a maxi dress. But, um, I have this fabric. I'm going to be... Basically, this fabric is all stretchy fabric. I'm about to show you. And I'm going to either make um, leggings with them, maxi dresses with them, biker shorts with them. So, this is what I'm going to... Then I can use the one with the straps and without the stretch, the hard to dresses or whatever. I love this, okay? I love this fabric. I love... I love leopard, okay? People say... They can say what they want about the leopard, the different cheetah pa um, patterns. I love cheetah pa patterns. You see, I got the, all the different colors, the all different sizes. But I'm making dresses for me and my, my daughter. And I'm also going to make some um, leggings and crop tops, tank tops with these. Okay, so it's nice to have stretchy fabric. You can make different things with them, okay? More leopard. They're all different patterns. And I'm surprised I didn't buy any double because I always go into Joanne Fabrics and Hobby Lobby and just buying fabric, just be buying. And I'm like, oh, I already got this fabric at home. So I like this. This is a plain stretch fabric. Okay. Be a nice little black dress I can I can I can make. Or the leggings with this. I probably make leggings with this. It's kind of thick. This I don't know what the name of it is, but I just know it's stretch. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of thick, so I probably make some leggings with that. This is kind of shiny. This is pretty, but it'd be pretty for a dress. And some leggings also. There's some gray t-shirt. I mean, some regular gray t-shirt fabric. Okay. I'm probably going to dress with this or some leggings. So I have a whole lot of fabric, y'all. But my thing is I just procrastinate, okay? I have to get on the ball, okay? And start making these things that I want to make. I just find the fabric at the store. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. But uh, one day, one day, I'm going to make a dress or something with it. So my daughter been hounding me, so I got to get it together. Okay, so today, this is the fabric I'm going to use for today. This is very pretty, okay? So, first of all, I'm going to um, basically fold it in half. Make sure it's straight. Okay. So I'm going to fold, take it like this. Fold it in half again, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and use, get my dress, fold it in half, and it's inside out. Because it's basically it's better to fold it, have it open inside out because you don't have to worry about adding those seam allowances, okay? On the side. You can still add the hem, but don't you have to worry about adding the seam allowance. And I want this dress to be as long as the fabric, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way down. When I'm gonna be cutting, I want this dress to be long, okay? So I get everything straight. And this would be the back of the dress is higher than the, the, uh, the front of the dress. So I'm just gonna go with the back of the dress. I'm gonna trace the back of the dress, okay? To give you enough room to um, make sure you cut the have enough space at the top so I can get the whole arm, okay? The, the top of the sleeve, okay? 
it's not a sleeve, you know what I'm saying? It's the tank top part. Okay, so it's all straight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this, do my weights. And weigh it down. And at the end of the video, well, the weights and the scissors and everything, you guys see in my um, Amazon store. So check out my Amazon store. Make sure that's on the cut. Make sure you fold your dress and make sure you have the crease of the fabric on the crease of the shirt. Uh, the dress okay the fold of the dress on the fold of the fabric okay now i'm gonna go ahead and cut this i'm gonna go ahead and um start from the top and um have get my seam allowance for this because this is in so i'm gonna go ahead and get put it about a half inch seam allowance for this and i don't have to worry about doing this one right here because it's already out i turned the dress inside out okay go ahead and cut it And I like these kind of straps because I put my bra on. I don't like my bra strap to be showing when I'm wearing a dress, okay? I really like to cut that. That's already there. So I'm going to go around and cut around there, okay? Kind of tricky when you're cutting stretch fabric. But I'm gonna go straight down here. I don't gotta worry about leaving no allowance, okay? Careful, don't cut your dress. <laughs> go straight down. And there we have it. Make sure this is even. Make sure this bottom right here is even. So I'm just checking to see. Oh, it's cool. I'm going to flip it. I'm probably just going to cut that, the ends of that off because it's kind of crooked at the bottom. Straight line. You can use a ruler if you want to. I have this extra fabric left over, which is like gonna be—it's gonna be scraps. So I can't use anything, do anything with this. I could probably make a scarf or something or a hair. I can make a hair wrap with this. This would be cute. Well, you know, what I was gonna do y'all. I'm gonna make some earrings with this, okay? So I'm gonna let me know if you wanna see a video of me making some earrings with this fabric to match my dress. I could do a head, a headband, and earrings with that fabric, okay? Let me know in the comments if you want me to see that. If you wanna see that. This is just some leftover fabric. I don't think I'm going to keep this. Well, I can keep it just so I can be able to check out my, um, you can use the scraps to check out your surgery to make sure it's threaded right, okay? So I moved the dress out the way. So now I only got to, since I folded this twice, I only got to cut my dress one time. And voila, we have my dress. Okay. It's the front. I heard you want to be. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna cut my front a little bit um, lower for my the front of my dress. I'm gonna cut a little bit lower, okay? So it can be a little much, you know, the front of part of the dress should be lower than the top, the, the back of the dress, okay? See how this, um, if you open this up like this, you see how much lower it is from the, from the front back to the top. So you just take your little. You just go you can go by eye with that okay so what i'll do is just take the front
okay, I marked it how I wanted to cut it. Okay, <laughs> I marked it just a little bit. This is the back of the dress right here. It's the front of the dress. It's going to be a little bit lower than the, the back, okay? And you really go to tell if it's crooked, you can still fix that when you're sewing it. But um, it's kind of crooked in the back, but you can always fix that when you're sewing it. So it's lower than it's supposed to be. That's how, that's, how I want, that's how I want it to be. You can use a ruler. You can do how you want to. This is my dress. So right now, I don't really, it don't have to be as nice as it needs to be if I was selling it, okay? I'm not selling no door dog clothes. I just make these clothes for my daughter and for my for me and my daughter, okay? I do sell children clothes, but I do not sell adult clothes, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is take my clips. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these clips on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clip the arm, the top of the arm right here. I'm gonna sew this part. I'm gonna clip this. Make sure it's straight because this um, stretchy fabric can move a lot. If you don't have a serger, just use your regular sewing machine with a zigzag stitch and use your um stretchy uh, stretchy thread. Okay. Make sure everything is clipped right. Well, no problem. So then you don't you don't clip the you don't clip the um armpit. You go down from the armpit and you clip the side of the dress. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead for right now. I'm gonna go clip all the way down on each sides here and here and then here. Okay. There's my serger. So we're gonna be going do, using that serger. Okay. Okay, I got my serges together. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top right here. Make sure when you're using a stretchy thread um, fabric, it's very thin. You make sure they're matching, the pieces are matching, because if you don't connect them together, they won't sew, okay? Make sure you put them together. Make sure you just push it into your feeder of the, um, of your machine, because if you don't do that, it won't sew either. So just make sure you push it in there. Watch your fingers though, you don't wanna get them fingers in there. This fabric is very delicate, very thin, and it will, um, it's kind of, it's just like, uh, cotton is better. It's, it's, it's able, you're able to move it a little closer. Make sure you get that under that knife. You wanna make sure this is under the knife. Cause if not, it won't sew, okay? Go ahead and push it. It in there so I'm going to go ahead and cut this both parts show you how that looks perfect okay see that I'm going to do the next one make sure it's closed and what I did was I just tested my fabric I mean my machine with this fabric okay I just basically sewed this fabric together Make sure my machine is right. Because you know, it move it around, you might want to make sure the thread is good. If you want to know how to thread this machine, it's, they have videos on YouTube on how to do that. So just check out YouTube videos, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and push it in. in there push okay cut it okay the 
get that done. I'm going to go ahead and do start doing the side. You do not do the neck hole and you do not do the um, armpit, okay? Because you got to basically hem those, okay? Alright, what I do is I lay my fabric straight down in my lap. Start from the beginning. Make your way down. Take your time. Make sure it's connected. Keep on checking to make sure it's, um, the fabric is connected, okay? Okay, here we go. white thread. You can use whatever color you want. I just like the light color. You don't have to cut that much of the dress out. I mean, it's up to you how you want to do. If you want to um, go in a little bit more, you can cut more, you know, because it's basically this, this, um, this, um, it's cutting. You can cut it, if you want to pull it out, cut it in, how you want to cut it off. That's on, how, that's on you how you want to do it, okay? Serger is cutting the thread off to make it a clean, a clean cut. Okay, I love the serger. And if you just roll up, just stop and just roll it back out. Smooth it back out. y'all we're done almost done with this dress okay see how that's um the surgery got it real nice okay you take the pull it and you just cut it it's ways you can do it you can tie it you can tie it in a knot the thin thread but like i said this is for me um if I, i'm not selling the dark clothes i do have children clothes and i do all that extra stuff with my children clothes and tie it in a knot to make sure it don't fret um this, the fret fabric i mean the Thread don't come apart. Um, like I said, I do have children clothes for sales on a Ray of Sunshine Boutique on Etsy. Check it out for me. You want to check out my children clothes? I love making clothes for children, but I'm kind of scared to make clothes for adults. <laughs> I'm going to do it one day, y'all. Right now, I'm just practicing on my, me and my daughter. And the only thing I'm doing for me and my daughter is, well, my daughter, she always comes to me and asks me to make do different things for her. So I'm, I'm trying to find different things to do. I'm trying to find different things. I used to make so only on so far only made dresses okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and, and if, every, if anything is oh out like like this fabric right here is kind of um uh wider than this top fabric I just cut it and I, before I sew it I cut it before I hem it okay so let's go ahead and put this in here Sewing, everything. I mean, a lot. Art is really therapeutic to me. I just find it being so therapeutic. Sewing and whatever I do, I just love doing it. And I really want to get this sewing down pack. My my goal is to make a wedding dress. <laughs> my daughter already married, so it won't be for her. <laughs> I just want to be able to make a wedding dress. Maybe I make my wedding dress. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and push it. Um, the fabric is meeting each other. If you ever have a problem, you skip it. Like if you come back and you see that oh, I, I, a, a piece was missing, or you the piece didn't sew, you can always go back and sew on top of it. Okay, with this with the serger. Okay, leave that that before. I'm like oh, both sides wasn't matching up with each other, and, the, and I had to go back and get that together because it made a hole, basically a hole in the dress because the the, the, the stitch didn't match it. So 
scared to use this. It's so much easy. It's so easy. It's, it's much easier than a uh, sewing machine. You got to worry about changing your needles and stuff. You can just go ahead and go through it. You ain't got backstitch and all that stuff. You just go right through it. And you're basically just watching right here. You can't see it from the camera, but you're just basically watching the, the thread fall and it's cutting. You can see everything that's going on over here. And if you need to um, push the shirt over more or you bring it back some, you can. Almost done, y'all. made so many different um it's called bummies for little girls i made bummies for um little girls with this, with this with the um serger i made a shirt for a little girl for, on the, for um sir with the serger i love making girl clothes i have a grandson i gotta figure out how to make them make some boy clothes for him now we're done with the serger um we could probably we could probably him we could do the him for the um the bottom of the dress too with the surgery too let's go ahead and do that right now and get over with because the neckline i have to do i'm gonna have to do with the um sewing machine and then i have to do the armpits too tuck it in and do the um armpit with the sewing machine and also um the neck with the sewing machine we can do we could do all this with the sewing machine okay what i did was i clipped the neckline Okay, all the way around the dress. I clipped all that. I didn't do the armpits yet, but I'm just doing the um, neckline and then the hem at the bottom, okay? I'm going to do it like three-fourths, which I, what I did was I um, turned it twice. This um, fabric kind of rolls, so I rolled it twice and I clipped it, okay? And in the back of my dress, so I, I, I ran out of my um, tags for my clothing line. I got to order some more. But what I did was put a piece of yarn right there. So I basically rolled the fabric twice. It came apart though. I'm gonna roll it again and then tap, keep put this fabric. I mean, put the um, the um, ribbon under the fabric so it can be a nice little um, cut. Okay. I'm basically just put it under there and let it sew like I did this one. This is a tag that I made. I made this dress. See how that tag is really nice in there. It's a ray of sunshine. I just was making this for my children's clothing. That's the name of my um, children's clothing, a ray of sunshine. But I just use this for my, me and my daughter tag for, the, for our dresses. And I got to buy it. It's, well, it's, um, a, a, um, and I can put the size on there. It says made in the U.S. If you can see that really quick. I got to figure out where I got it from Etsy. Got to figure out who made these. These are so pretty. They had my little logo there. Um, but not logo. They just made some, some angel wings because my granddaughter, she passed away. So I just a red sunshine. Then I put the it's made in America, made in the U.S. And then I put the size there. And I use that for my children's clothes. But I just use that for me and my daughter dresses that I made. So now, since I misplaced those, I know I didn't use them all. I misplaced them. I don't know where they at. I'm so mad because they was it was so many. I had so many of them. So I had to buy. I had to get some more. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the back of the dress. I'm gonna start with the tag. I'm gonna double stitch that, back stitch it or whatever. And I'm gonna go um. I'm gonna go all the way around the neckline. Take this off, okay. Put the um, put up the um, the arm off the um sewing machine. Make it easier to go. I got my um, you can use this. I'm supposed to use a stretch stitch needle, and I'm putting my um, my um, sewing machine on a zigzag stitch. Okay. So let's go. Like I said, this fabric we turned a lot, so I'm gonna just turn it back under, so you won't see the raw edges. You can also, to not see the right edges, you can surge your, um, surge everything before you sew it. Just surge the edges, but I didn't do all that. Like I said, I'm not going to waste all that time to do all the surging it when I'm, it, it's just for me. So you can surge it to get a nice edge on it. Put the, the, the um, thread won't be, uh, you know, be a nice little cut. But I didn't do that for this dress because it's for me. So, like I said, this fabric really turns a lot. So, just try to make sure you get it under the needle and zigzag go back and forth. So, you want to make sure all that, that all the fabric is under the, under, the, the, under the needle. So, it's going to take forever. So, I'm going to go ahead and sew this. When I get done sewing on the whole neckline, basically, it's going to be all the way around the neckline from the front to the back. And I'm going to do the hem also, and I'll be back. 
Okay, I'm gonna show y'all. I already did the top. Y'all can see that. This is how it looks. I did the neckline. Okay. This is zigzag for you. I turned it on this. I did it. I turned it in twice. Okay. So it won't be no raw edges. Okay. So I did all the way around the neckline. Okay. Nice zigzag stitch all the way around. I didn't do the armpits yet. Okay. I still got to turn this, turn the armpits, and then um, twice. And also um, clip those, well, pin those or whatever. And now I'm doing the hem. Okay. The hem is my dress. So I'm just going to, I just basically tucked it one time. I still see the raw edges, but it doesn't matter to me because it's my dress. So, but if when you're doing it, if you're gonna sell this or whatever, you want to make sure that you um tuck it twice. You can serge it. You can either serge it, the ends of it, and then tuck it, or you can just tuck it once. But I just I didn't serge it. I didn't do no clean finish. I didn't do none of that. I just went on here and tucked it once under the hem it, and I'm doing a three four. I'm doing a half inch um about yeah it's about um, about a half inch seam allowance okay all the way around i can show you how to do this because it's easy <laughs> i just flipped it and i pinned it and it, like i said this fabric rolls it's gonna do this really pretty 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 fast so i don't gotta worry about if i rolled it double twice sometimes you gotta you know match it up twice but since it's only rolled once it's easy to do it's still a zigzag stitch okay i'm using a brother my sewing machine is a brother sm2700 I love it. I think I got it from Walmart. Not too expensive and it works just well, okay? Works well for me. I'm gonna show you I just I have this little um piece right here I put on my sewing machine some magnets and it makes you make sure your clothes I mean I put it on three fourths and make sure that my if my fabric touches that it's it's cool it's gonna always be a three fourths um seam allowance all the way around okay I love it I guess I'm gonna buy my stuff okay I try to get close to the edge so of the um the open part of the fabric so it won't be like um falling up, you know, like bending or whatever when you're wearing it. Get you close to the edge. Instead of getting close to the fold, get close to the edge of the um, fabric that's turned, okay? We're almost done here. Get the hem. My daughter gonna see this dress and I'm like, Mom, where mine is at? I'm gonna wear this. I'm basically wearing, I'm making this dress for me to wear to church tomorrow. So I will be wearing this dress tomorrow to church. Probably put a jacket on because it's, you know, tank top sleeves. I just put a jacket on. With it. But I love this pattern. That is fabric. Very nice. And y'all don't understand. I've been procrastinating for a long time making these dresses. So I finally got out the way. I was like, I said, I'm, I'm sitting here. It's a Saturday night. I had nothing to do. Took my little nap. Whatever. So I was like, mm, I'm up. Let me go ahead and make this dress because I know I'm going to keep on procrastinating. Let me get it over with. And I did it, y'all. I'm almost done. I'm going to show y'all how to do one of the. Um, one of the uh, neck holes, I mean, armpits. You see, look, this is how the zigzag look. And it's stretch. Okay, so I see how I got close to the edge. The, right here, so I won't really be in. I could have got a little closer, but. Okay. And this is, um, make sure when you do this, make sure your stretch is. Let me show you. See how to stretch? Make sure. Get in there. I love these wonder clips. They are so nice. I love them. I don't like using pins, but I stick myself with them. I just can't do pins. I just love the wonder clips. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm about to fold, roll or fold, however you want to call it, and roll these armpits under. I mean, the neck, the arm under. And I'm trying to get as close as I can because I really want to still be able to wear my bra. My bra straps are kind of thick, so I really want to get those bra straps in there. So I'm trying to. That's why I don't want to have that much rolled under. So I want to make sure I cover my bra straps. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and clip one. I'm gonna show y'all how to do one, and I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. And then after I do this, I'm gonna show y'all the end results. So I roll twice and snip. Roll twice and snip. And I really don't have to snip this. I, I probably can just get put it under the machine and just roll it because it's like I said, it rolls. It like by sews, it rolls. Okay, while it's sewing, it rolls. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it now on the video. Can't sorry, can't see that far, but like on the table. I love sewing, y'all. I'm probably um I probably tonight I'll probably get another dress, another piece of fabric and start another dress. I probably won't sew it tonight. I'll probably just seek uh surgery because surgery is so easy. I probably cut it out and serve a uh, surgeon, and then tomorrow I probably sew the rest of it. Probably do one for my daughter. I know she's gonna be hollering like, "Mom, what mine is that?" And once I don't get in the mood, if I'm not in the mood with it, I ain't gonna be able to do it. But um, I have, I, I still have to. Um, I'm, today is Saturday. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a, a live video on how to um bling a t-shirt out i might do a t-shirt here because it's getting too hot for a hoodie i'm here in arizona and it's hot hot i'm gonna, I'm gonna bling out a t-shirt tomorrow on my, on my live video if i got a church but this video is probably gonna be after the live i don't know if i'm gonna download this video yet or not <laughs> but we're gonna see i feel like editing the video tonight and downloading it before i do my live tomorrow Like I said, this fabric just rolls, y'all. Rolls, rolls, rolls right into place. Sorry, I'm not in the camera. I'm just basically um going ahead and just clipping it like that. I'm almost done with this, and I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. I'm gonna show y'all that I'm gonna sew how this. It's, it's basically just you turn it. Or I got the, the um, I guess it's called a leg or foot or whatever. I, don't, I mean, the leg off the um sewing machine to make it easy for necklines and sleeves and stuff like that i took that off and i think it's going to go and you just hold the fabric straight and you just sew, uh, sew a straight line basically so i'll show y'all how to do that okay very very easy people are like how you turn how you get ain't no turning just you just make it straight line so a straight line okay oh i hope this is big thick enough for my um wide enough for my bra strap it should be i'm gonna get Close I can get to the edge of the fabric. So my okay, so I'm gonna just start with the um right after the seam right here. I'm gonna just start right here because sometimes if you start on the seam and your sewing machine can get your needle can get stuck right here, you just gotta pull the fabric. So I'm gonna just start right outside of it so I can go over it again. Okay, so I just basically put this on my sewing machine like this to see how it's straight. You keep on sewing straight. Pull, pull, pull until you get to um. You gotta, you ain't gotta really tug it, but like I said, sometimes this needle, if you don't have your stretchy needle inside your sewing machine, which I don't have a regular ballpoint needle in here, which is fine because it's my dress, but you can get it. I'm gonna go ahead and go on Amazon and get that. Um, I can't think of it's called, it might, it might be, it might be called a um, stretch needle, but it's two needles that, two needles. Um, you just basically change this needle and put two needles in there. Um, I might get, I'm gonna get that so it can be more professional with my clothing. And my seams and stuff is basically for the seams and the hems. Okay, so I'm gonna get that from Amazon. I've been doing a lot of research and stuff, looking at different videos and stuff, learning how to sew. <laughs> yes, y'all, I learn. I still watch YouTube. Don't make my own YouTube channels. I still learn a lot of stuff from YouTube. I love learning new things. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go um stitch and then back stitch. And I'm going. Turn it. This dress is gonna be so pretty, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks. I'm gonna take some pictures. And I'm gonna fold outside tomorrow before church so I can show y'all my dress, y'all. Let me know if, what else y'all want to see me. Um, so basically, my my tech, well, the way I do this, <laughs> I basically copy. I, I I do have a couple. Um, well, I do have a lot of um. Get rolled up. I do have a lot of patterns for children clothes, but I don't have any patterns for adult clothes because I love the way my clothes fit. 
So my thing for me, for, for my for my adult clothes, I'm gonna just use my pattern. Cause that's like I said, I don't make clothes for nobody but me and my daughter. So um, I'm going to be just using my, cause my daughter were the same size. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be using, um, copying my, my different clothing and I'll make that into the pattern for my clothes that I make. So like I said, I have, I already have leggings, I have biker shorts, I have dresses that I can copy and just make it my own. Just basically changing the fabric. That's all I'm doing. I'm changing the fabric. So I think that's pretty cool that I can do that. I can just trace my own clothing. Yes, yeah, it's rolling under y'all. <sighs> Because it's rolling, rolling, it's gonna be a little gap. I don't want it to roll at me that much. It's the back of the dress or the front of the dress? It's the front of the dress, but it's under the armpit. Okay, it ain't gonna be, a bad, it ain't gonna be bad if I do this. Uh. Yeah, this fabric will be rolling on its own, y'all. So I'm just trying to fix my fabric real quick to see what I'm doing here. I mean, I feel like I'm double stitch. I don't have to back stitch it. I'm gonna kind of roll it up a little bit, but I can see it's gonna be under my armpits if I can dig up until that I didn't say that I messed up, but it rolled up, it rolled a little bit too much. As long as I can fit my arm, my um bra strap in it, I'll be okay. So let's see, let's see right there. But yep, it's good, okay. See how it rolled right there. Show you my mistakes, but it's gonna be cool because under my arm, so you ain't gonna see that part right there. How it rolled under like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up, go off the camera. I'm gonna do the other side, and I'll be done with this dress, and I'll show you the outcome of it, how it looks on laying on the table, and then tomorrow, I mean, then tomorrow I'm gonna take some pictures, and I'll show y'all pictures of me wearing it. <laughs> 